Well, the latest data is that the President, Sir Ramaphosa, and the Deputy President have arrived. They're just currently at a meeting downstairs with the Premier and other health officials. But we got to get inside the factory and we're taking on a tour just now. And I met a gentleman by the name of Marnis Farve, who's the a manufacturing technologist here at Aspen. And he's going to take us briefly, tell us briefly, I don't know if you're into but I am. Find out exactly what is happening here, what happens here, and how this vaccine is actually done in this facility. Let's just first talk about exactly what is happening here for people that are watching at home and how the process is in terms of making the vaccine. Hi everyone uh, and welcome to the Aspen facility. So at the back here we have the compounding room. It's a two-part process where we basically manufacture a buffer solution that's uh, inactive salt water and then on the right hand we have the holding vessel where we will transfer the drug substance or the active part of the solution and we will dilute it with the buffer solution. Thereafter, once it's ready, we keep the product at 2 to 8 degrees and we will move it to the filling line where we can go maybe next. And then it is filled into vials, stoppered and sealed in a isolated technology environment. Let's go to this next, next part of, of the site. But you were speaking to me, you've been able to be part of this entire process. How has it been for you to know that you are part of the people that are helping to bring a solution to the vaccine problem in the country? I have been part since the beginning of the project and it has been extremely, uh, well it's been an honor as well as it's been very exciting and it's what a great opportunity it really is for Aspen uh, Sterols as well as South Africa. In what happened, what's happening this side? So in the back here you can see what we call it Aspen, the Alice filling line and here is where we fill the drug product or the liquid into vials in the isolator and thereafter it is stoppered and sealed. After that we can inspect it, label and pack it. So you're obviously very excited about this and I hear they're going to produce about 300 million vaccines per annum of the Johnson Johnson vaccine. So I have been part of the technical aspect of the project and I'm unfortunately not able to discuss any of the uh, market related numbers. And how has the whole process been for you on a technical side to be part of this team as well? So for me, it has been an immense growth opportunity. I've had to learn a lot about vaccines in the past year, and it's just been excellent for the whole team as well. Well, that was Marnis Falve, who is a manufacturing technologist here at Aspen. Just speaking about the whole process of how the vaccine is made, he's saying that he's very excited. I'm sure you're aware, Desiree, that they are planning to produce about 300 million vaccines of the JNG vaccine at the site. Shortly, the president will come up with the deputy president to an oversight visit, find out exactly what progress has been made to produce this JNG vaccine, which they are hoping to produce this year in June. Rato, thank you so much for updating us there, and I'm sure uh, we will be crossing back to you as soon as those other processes start.